So let's get you into the mind of the ANC, at least in certain parts of the country. The organization in Mpumalanga also taking quite a beating. However, what might stand out with this uh, province is that the ANC has managed to retain its majority control with 99% of the results there already counted. For more context and perspective on how they're feeling, let's bring in the party's provincial spokesperson, Sasekani Manzini, who joins us now via our video link from Mpumalanga. And Sasekani, thanks very much indeed for making time for us here on this election's coverage of the AM report. So 99% of the election results in Mpumalanga already done and dusted. The ANC managing to retain almost 60% of the voter support. However, that comes with the loss of two municipalities, Lekwa and the Steve Chwete municipality. I'm sure you're not surprised by that, given the issues that are plaguing both those regions. Good morning to you, uh, Ayanda, and the viewers at home. And indeed, as a, a province, uh, we really appreciate uh, the renewed mandate given to us by the electorate. And uh, we are going to make sure that uh, we don't disappoint the, the voters uh, in terms of all the issues that were raised during our door-to-door, -door, and uh, we will improve on that. And uh, we know that, that if we improve what uh, they said to us, it's a concern to them, we'll be able to make sure that in the upcoming elections we are going to increase in terms of the, of course, firstly, the voter turnout, that uh, it's a serious concern for us because we know that uh, most of the voters that did not go at vote will have voted for the African National Congress. So, so far, as an organization in the province, we managed to convene a PSC, even though we all, of course, get uh, another time after the official results have been uh, uh, released so that we have to analyze. Uh, we believe that you can do a helicopter analysis. We need to go to VD by VD and be able to uh, look at ourselves, reflect in terms of uh, where did we go wrong, where can we improve, so that uh, we can, of course, as we did in terms of our pledge, uh, uh, implement what we promised our voters. Right. Um, the, the trends, though, I'm sure you'll agree, are quite concerning. The ANC, even in Mpumalanga, has been on a downward trajectory. In fact, in 2016, managing to get 70 percent, you're barely scraping the 60 percent mark now. Voters are sending a clear message to the ANC, and the question becomes whether or not you feel the party in Mpumalanga specifically will be able to get that message. Of course, as I'm saying, uh, what is uh, an advantage to us as an organization is that uh, we manage to go to the household, even though in terms of the time before two, two days towards the uh, election, we could not reach all voters. But of course, now that uh, what uh, gives us comfort also is that uh, in terms of we manage to retain uh, all our, almost all our awards in the province and also manage to gain other words that uh, initially were with opposition in areas like your Bushback Ridge, your Imalasheni, your Tabachu. So that is a basis for, for us to go back to our electorate and make sure that uh, through our ward councillors that from time to time, that those that have signed the pledge will be coming back to report. And also in terms of our structures, uh, we are able to go back to them and be able to uh, do the voter contacts in those households that we might could not manage because of the short uh, period of time moving towards the local government election. So we are confident that uh, in terms of the mandate that we are given now, we don't take it for granted. We believe that uh, they are saying to us as much as we are not happy, but we still believe that the African National Congress in Pumalanga will be able to address our issues, will be able to change our life uh, to the better. Uh, uh, Sasegani, let me ask you a, a question around an issue which I have no doubt you know about, and that's the allegations of vote rigging specifically in, I think it's Ward 16 in Bushbuck Ridge. I essentially, there are allegations that uh, an IEC official was found with an individual wearing an ANC T-shirt with open ballot boxes and a few ballot papers. Uh, of course, the optics don't look great. It looks like the ANC is on the wrong side of an issue which admittedly is currently being investigated. Let me get a sense of what the ANC's response is to this, given, like I said, what it looks like from the outside. Also, as an African National Congress, we are calling for investigation in that matter so that uh, it can be cleared. Because uh, in terms of the African National Congress, 
we do our own training in terms of our volunteers, the members of the AFC, they understand exactly what is expected. So where we are as an organization, we, we have not uh, sent anyone to do something that is not in line with the code of conduct of the IEC. And uh, as I'm saying, we will also wait for investigation because we are also seeing the videos circulating like everyone else. And it's something that uh, we, 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 we are also uh, not uh, promoting from any other political party. So if it is found that is our member, of course, uh, disciplinary processes will unfold because we are, we are not part of whatever that is seen circulating in the, in, in, on the media. Sazekani Manzini, thanks very much indeed for your time. We're going to have to leave it there for now. I imagine a whole lot more analysis and reflections in the days and hours to come after the official results for the entire vote has officially been verified. For now, thanks very much indeed. Sazekani Manzini is the spokesperson of the ANC in Mpumalanga.